Hey! <laughs> well, we did the feet thing because of my three sons. I'm not Fred McMurray, but I'm here with Barry and Stan Livingston. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming on out here. And I say gentlemen because I always wanted to be a My Three Son. Uh, well, we'll let you be uh, the new brother. Thank you we very much. We need a third son. We're, we're looking for one. How many years did the show go, and how much fun was it? Uh, the show ran for 49 years. Uh, I'm 108 years old today. Uh, and we made about $1.98. Uh, so, yeah, it, you know, it was an experience, and people have to remind me of actually what that experience was because it was so long ago. But it's on MeTV now. You can still find it. it it's a good time. It's a great time. Actually, we've been on the air. This is the 52nd year. Going wow. up 53 years. Went up in 72. Yeah. Yeah. It was 60 to 72, so it went, it went for 12 years. Right. It's hard but for people to remember. It's the second longest running sitcom ever on TV, right after Ozzie and Harry, which was the first, which is where we started. Wow, wow. Yeah. Well, now, you guys told me that Desi Lou, Desi Arnaz, and Lucia Ball kind of had something to do with the show. Explain. Well, they actually were filming the Lucy show right next to us, and back Barry ended up in an episode of the Lucy I was show. A recurring they... character, actually. I was on. Lucy wanted me to come back and, and be a recurring character because I was I was Arnold Mooney. I was I was Gail Gordon who played Mr. Mooney. I was gay. I was his son. And so uh, there's a couple of episodes that I did on the Lucy show. One famously where she gave me a mohawk, uh, which was fun to do. And uh, and then you know when I went on to My Three Sons, she actually came and requested me to come back and do other shows, but I was already under contract to do. To, to do sons and by the time I was because I came out of my three sons as the friend next door right. so I had kind of a uh, you know downtime I could do her show once I became a son you know that oh, was a full-time you could only do one show at a time back then one series at a time well, usually because they had conflicting sponsors yeah, you'd be able to show that at Chevrolet and you'd be on with Dodge or something so <laughs> they wanted to make sure that didn't happen listen I'm a big fan of my three sons it's on me TV today uh, all our fans here at Thunder Valley watch it every day so that's staying power. You want to comment on that? Well, you know, I, there are so few shows that have that kind of longevity and, and, and a universal appeal. That and, and it's amazing to me, having done the show so long ago, that you'll meet a parent. You know, you, you'll find parents, grandparents, and grandkids and kids who all go, "I grew up watching that show." Right. And, and to parents of today, you know, go, I, "We can't find a show that we feel comfortable sitting." down as a family and watching a show together. So, you know, that show still fills a place and, uh, you know, it's an amazing thing for us. Our really. show is kind of like the comforter on your sofa that you hand down from generation to generation. <laughs> we are a hand-me-down show. Our parents handed it down to us, then we handed it down to our right. kids, and now, I don't know, we're probably on third or fourth generations away from where we started. And what's, what's funny is, you know, I mean, I still work in film and do a lot of, well, some pretty nice projects, and one recently I worked with was Adam Sandler. And, and you can't believe the excitement sure. that, that comes to him, you know, who's one of the biggest stars in the world, that he suddenly, and he's going, oh my God, oh, we used to sit and watch you. The whole family would get down there on Saturday night. You know, that was, everyone, that was like a ritual. You know, we all gathered in front of the TV. My and it was, family too. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, that's a wonderful thing. It's weird, yeah, because you do meet celebrities who, you know, they were kids at one time too, right. and when they grew up, a close friend of mine was Sherman Hemsley, and same thing, first time I met him, I was like, oh my God, it's a really big star. And, you know, he just like fell apart when he met me. I'm like, what is going on here? This is, he goes, oh, our family, you know, we just like got around the TV set and that, I grew up, you know, and it, right. it just really touched a chord, I think, with people. And, you know, who knew it was going to last this long? It is really an amazing thing. Well, Thunder Valley wants to say thank you very much to Barry and Stan Livingston. Hey, you got to come out to Thunder Valley where the stars are. Come on out. <laughs> yeah, it was a great time. Great, a great, great place time, to be, a great resort. Thanks great for the hospitality. It's great out here. Here we go.